The Real Outdoor Experience is brought to you by Fast Track Performance. Share our passion. Vortex Optics, the force of optics. And Bullseye London, Canada's sport shooting supply source. Now let's keep it real. Hi everybody, it's Carl and Ian. We're from the Real Outdoor Experience. Tonight is where our season culminates. It culminates on a plate on Ian's table out there. Ian's a gracious host tonight. All of our family getting together. We're going to cook the turkey that we work so hard for. It's a very important uh, part of the process, Carl. And, you know, we spend so much time getting ready for the season. We scout, we get landowner permission, countless hours. We spend a ridiculous amount of money. If we're fortunate enough to harvest a bird, we're going to take it home and we're going to feed it to our families. And we really owe it to ourselves and to the bird itself, you know, respecting what we've harvested. But this is the piece that the non-hunters are going to judge us on. And it, it really is important, I think, to take a little bit of extra care and, and time when, when putting this together. Do the research to give the bird the what it deserves, I think, when it comes to uh, to preparing it. So many people, you know, oh, I, I, I don't like game, I've had it, or, you know, I've had venison. How many times have you heard that the venison mm -hmm. tastes terrible? It just means it hasn't been dealt with properly. And, you know, it hasn't had the silver skin or enough of the fat removed, or it's been dealt with improperly in the field or left hung too long. Exactly the same thing with turkeys. If you don't deal with it properly in the field, and in the kitchen, then people are gonna think it tastes gross. <laughs> you know, it, it, it might. Yep. You know, right. one, one of the pieces that I uh, would encourage to everybody with every type of, uh, of game, pretty much, is do not overcook it. Wild animals are so lean; they don't have the uh, the fat that uh, farm-raised animals have, and they uh, they'll dry out very very quickly. So, when in doubt, cook it less. You can always cook it more. Uh, you can never undo it so that's right you know we we talk a lot about ethics throughout of all of our videos and this is the ethical piece we shoot the bird it's given us their lives for our lives you know we're feeding our families with it tonight and uh, can't wait to bring this episode to you one thing I want to mention before we uh, start getting to the cooking is that some of the recipes that we're going to use tonight are going to go on the website so be sure to check that out. Fast Track Performance is your local dealer for everything Arctic Cat and Kawasaki. Fast Track is a full service dealer with a friendly sales staff and a dedicated and knowledgeable service team. If you need accessories, parts, or just want to browse their over 10,000 square feet of inventory, get there today. Fast Track Performance is your local dealer for the down home field. Check them out at www.fasttrackperformance.ca. Share our passion. This is the first method that we're going to try. Taken cuts across the grain of the breast and uh, pounded it flat just in sheets of wax paper. Pounded as flat as uh, you feel comfortable going. We want it to be pretty thin. We're going to take some ricotta and just spread. This is a ricotta, lemon, and basil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Then we're going to roll it and wrap it in bacon. And you know what? I really don't think that you can go wrong with that type of, of combination. So use the fresh basil as opposed to dried, just because I think that, that the flavors then really do come through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that with salt and pepper there. A little bit, yeah, that's plenty. Beautiful. That's, that's great. Then we're just gonna roll it. You can smell the basil in here, it's fantastic. Roll it up like that. If we can have an even shape, then it will cook evenly. So. Bacon like that. Now folks, this is much different than your traditional turkey, but uh, one of the things we've shown here tonight is just the breasts on the, uh, the cutting board. And there's a good reason for that. Turkeys spend all day on their feet and legs, and the legs are, I found in my experience, very, very tough. We do eat the legs, but those we reserve for a slow cooker meal. Breasts are obviously they're just beautiful. It's it's very very nice meat. But the legs very very tough. I find. I will uh, I'll roast off the carcass and then uh, boil it and use the, the the stock for a whole bunch of different things. But there's uh, yeah I'm you know I'm with Carlin. It's not like a turkey that you get at the at the grocery store. I've done it before roasting the whole thing. It looks beautiful, but I uh, honestly I can't make it well enough that people appreciate eating it, and that's. Uh, of it, turning people off and they go, oh, wow, well, turkey, that tastes gross and you, know, you can't eat it. You know, why would you hunt that? I'd rather just use it in, in different ways. Slow cooker recipes and then using it in a, in a, in a 
cold method in a yes. pot pie or something like that. They're very, very tasty. Just for uh, for time purposes, we're not doing that to, no. tonight, obviously. We're just using the breasts. But that I'm going to bake for probably about 30 minutes at about 400. Fantastic. Uh, you'll know when it's done when the, when the bacon's cooked. I'd rather undercook the, the turkey. And you can be quite comfortable serving wild poultry in that medium range as opposed to medium well or well done. I know we've been conditioned from birth that, you know, raw chicken or medium rare chicken is, you know, it's going to kill you, which it could very well. But wild animals are not, uh, or at least wild turkeys, don't have that same risk um, that you'd have with uh, a store-bought and farm-raised poultry. But folks, a legal disclaimer, you're, you know, it's, it's what I'm comfortable with and I've never made anybody sick, um, but it's uh, to, to, to keep it in that uh, medium, again, airing almost to that medium rare um, is, is, is my preference and it just keeps it uh, um, nice and tender. It's, it's not dry, it's not tough. Um, and the flavors come through. Just quickly while Ian's out getting the barbecue started, we took the other breast and we tossed it in some olive oil, sprinkled some Montreal steak spice on it, and grilled it over the barbecue. Fantastic method of cooking your turkey. So this is uh, just making a base for a risotto. It'll be a garlic and a shallot. The piece with, with wild game, I find that if you take the time in prepping it, and we didn't get it you know, earlier, but you know, making sure that all the little bits of fat and silver skins, all the tendons are out, that makes such a big difference when it comes to the enjoyment and the, and the consumption of it. We've got some pictures, well, when we show you the deer season of processing deer and taking the care in the kitchen to make sure that there's no silver skin, no fat. It doesn't taste very good. And I think when people eat venison that, that you know, perhaps aren't hunters and it might be their first introduction to it, and he's going to go, oh, this, this, this tastes, tastes gross. You know, how can you enjoy it? And it's like, well, you know what? Sometimes they're not wrong. Well, folks, it's been a pleasure to bring this turkey series to you. We hope that it helps you get out into the field and take a turkey of your own. It is a lot of work. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a ton of work. It's a ton of preparation. You do need some equipment, as we've explained. But it is a ton of fun. And what an experience. So, like I said before, it all culminates tonight. This plate of turkey fancy goodness uh, prepared by uh, Ian McCleary here, fantastic, we can't wait. We're gonna feed our family and that's really and truly what it's all about. Thanks as always, it's Carlin and Ian from The Real Outdoor Experience. And Ian, we're always keeping it real. We're keeping it real, folks. Thanks and take care for now. Yeah. Shut the cameras off, let's eat.